I'm here with the DX2 guys. I'm here in the field. There's some wind, and I don't really recommend flying this guy in the wind, but I'm gonna still fly it anyways, just to see. I don't have the guard on. It looks kind of cool without the guard. So I figure we'll give it a little test flight out here, see how good it works. Cause I had some bad luck with it, but let's, I'm gonna give it another chance. So let's go ahead and turn this on, or let me turn this on first. Usually these things bind up backwards. All right, so that's done. This is gonna be interesting because the orientation is going to be hard to see. Sorry guys, I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. So let's go ahead and put this on. Let's get this little guy up. Not too bad. So I'm obviously having a lot better luck today. You know, I guess I was trying to fly this thing on on my uh, street and there's just no way you can fly that without accidentally hitting somebody at. So I wasn't able to really test it properly and it was a windy day too. Orientation's not too hard because I can see that little uh, part where, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm really thinking that's causing something. That tower there is causing some sort of interference. But it, it does fly pretty decent though. But I was trying to fly it on my street and there's just no way you can do that properly. Not not a speed test, you know, because I this drone, it's uh I, I got used to it though, but it's a uh, throttle is very very sensitive. It doesn't have speeds, but we're gonna try something. I'm gonna bring it up. Let's try something. Whoa, <laughs> wow, that's something I couldn't try over there. I thought that it would continuously um, flip. At least that's what it's supposed to do. Let me try it again. Let's go ahead and launch this guy now. Come on, come back here, the car coming. Come on. All right. Wow, I, I'm impressed, kind of. It actually does fly outside in the wind. I was a little hard on it. it it's, it's something you really want to fly over grass because it, it that throttle is just too sensitive, so it goes up very fast. Until the battery starts to wear down, then it's a little more easier to screw around with, but until then, it's just difficult to kind of maneuver, especially on a full battery. This thing will hit the ceiling in your apartment several times until you get used to it. So I'm full throttle right now. So it's not no speed demon, but it's, it can still cut through the wind. It's still pissing off the dragonflies. I have a lot of hummingbird problems. They come and attack my drones sometimes when I'm flying them outside. I never got it on camera, but they do. It's almost as if they think the wings are 
their wings make the similar noise to these drones, so they probably think it's another hummingbird. Yeah, I guess I'm able to fly this really good out here. Oh yeah, this is pretty, pretty fun. Wow, I'm impressed, I really am. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely worth the money. This is a $30 drone. Decent size, it looks even better without the guard. There's no camera or nothing, but those are all gimmicks anyways. Transmitter's a little big, but I don't mind. It's better looking than some of those other ones that look horrible. Look like a video game controller or something. There it is, guys. So that's the DX2 by Sharper Image. $30 drone sold in Walmart. So if you're looking for a drone, I, I I do recommend this, I guess. I mean, you guys see it. I mean, it's up to you. I'm, I am definitely having a pretty decent time here. It, it handles pretty well in the air. And I'm not a very good flyer neither, guys, and it's doing pretty good. I'm able to not make a fool of myself. So if you're looking for a drone, Sharper Image has this $30 one here, which looks pretty cool. It does look a little sporty without that uh, guard on. But when you first get it, use the guard until you get used to it. All right, let's see. It's hard for me to see if the battery's gonna die out on me. I can't see if it's flashing or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and land this guy now. Well, that's not, if you call that landing more, let me just let it fall off the sky into the grass. So there it is, guys, the DX2. Yeah, I, I, I can recommend it. Flies good very good for the price and it looks pretty cool it does look pretty cool without the the guard on it it does look pretty cool so it has that going for it too the transmitter is not too bad except for this it's a little loose like it goes up and down very easy and it's very sensitive so until you get used to it you can just go ahead and practice and put the guard on so that's pretty much it Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.